My name is uh, John Dizdar. I am Director General for the Middle East and North Africa at the Turkish Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I've been dealing with this uh, part of the world for a long time. So uh, I'm also dealing with Libya. I'm uh, Abdullah Bachili. I'm the SRG, Special Representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations and Head of the United Nations um, Mission in Libya. Greetings. Uh, my name is Richard Norland. I've been the ambassador to Libya, and I'm now uh, based in Washington as U.S. Special Envoy for Libya. When you talk about challenges, I think first and foremost you have to um, uh, recognize the challenge of maintaining the current ceasefire, making making sure that uh, there isn't a resumption of fighting uh, between the various sides. Uh, a second priority would be to uh, and challenge is the issue of managing the distribution of Libya's oil wealth. Um, given the rising price of oil, uh, Libya is bringing in uh, substantial sums every day. And, um, and yet the mechanisms for distributing those funds in a way that's transparent, in a way that gives uh, benefit to the public and not just the narrow interests, uh, th that mechanism uh, needs a lot of work. Uh, and we've been trying to help Libyans uh, to create a, a mechanism for transparent, accountable management of those oil revenues. Uh, and that's a, a work in progress, but it's, it's uh, really important because a, a, lot, a good deal of the, of the conflict is rooted in the perception that resources were not being distributed evenly. Libyans own Libya. So we are just uh, uh, actors trying to contribute, trying to support uh, uh, the uh, Libyans, the country, to reach a permanent stability. Now there's a stalemate. A stalemate is uh, because uh, uh, there is this uh, um, legitimacy deficit in the executive, in the, in the legislative, in judiciary, in every you know institution uh, uh, in Libya. So, how uh, you are going to fix this problem? Uh, for us, it is uh, about putting out the ballot box uh, so that you can bring people's uh, voice contribution uh, to the picture and uh, fix this legitimacy problem then uh, fix uh, uh, the situation in country in general and uh, prepare the country for a more stable, permanently stable uh, future. It is important for the, Lib uh, for the Libyan to uh, have legitimate institutions through uh, an electoral process. And uh, we have uh, been aspiring to this and there is a, a lot of expectations about uh, this electoral process. through a political dialogue, with a political will, all the stakeholders must come together to discuss about the elections, about the security of the elections, and how best we can all conduct this uh, electoral process. And of course, uh, the international community has a role to play, that is to support this Libyan, Libyan solution. In terms of the tangible steps that can be uh, pursued to, to, to deal with these challenges, um, you know, uh, on, the, on the security front, uh, we, we want to support efforts to bring East and Western uh, military uh, forces together to create a unified Libyan army, beginning perhaps with a, uh, uh, at a unit level um, uh, with uh, officers and, and soldiers from each side who could tackle some of the security issues in the South. Um, and through the security working group under the Berlin process, that, that uh, effort is being pursued. For us as uh, Turkey, uh, we have a huge interest in the stability, permanent stability of uh, uh, Libya because, uh, you know, we share a very long history. Uh, we share a huge interaction. I mean, uh, today, Turkey is number one destination for Libyans. Turkey is number one trade partner of uh, Libya. So uh, we would like to have uh, stable uh, uh, Libya so that we can develop strategies, invest more, contribute more. And uh, in order to do this, you need to have a strong elected government in place so that we can fix, they can fix the problem, outstanding problem of uh, Libya. Libyans uh, uh, 
did a lot so far, uh, and there is uh, currently a, a calm in the country, but uh, the problems uh, remain. Uh, election is still elusive, elections. And uh, now uh, UN Secretary General appointed a new, new uh, uh, special representative, Mr. Batili. He has our full support and he has been uh, doing a lot uh, within four months, I think, it, uh, he started in October. And uh, now uh, he is uh, uh, at the stage of uh, developing certain ideas. This set of recommendations which will lead to a roadmap for the elections in 2023 uh, will be uh, supported by all the players both in Libya and outside Libya. Our position is uh, we want to support the UN as it uh, uh, facilitates and mediates uh, this this process. Um, you know, Libyans at the end of the day have to have to own this process and have to lead it. But uh, many Libyans tell us they cannot do it without the support of the international community. And so, this is a, a, a duet that we're engaged in together. Mm -hmm.